Hey Fingsters and welcome to this video about the Python built-in dir function. So the dir function, uh, real quick, it's um, a function to uh, to print to return a list of all names defined in a certain uh, scope. So what does it mean and how do how do you need it? Let's maybe dive right into a practical example. Open a, a Python shell and maybe put in some code. So if you if you open an interactive shell. Let's open a fresh one. So here we have an open shell and now you can simply run the function there without an argument. So this is one way of running the function and you see it returns a list of strings. Okay, strings enclosed by this uh, single quote uh, notation and the strings now they seem to be very strange. So they, they have this underscore underscore notation uh, also called uh, dunder. So double underscore notation. Um, of some names that are already defined in your namespace and you cannot see those names because they are already defined in the by the Python environment. But now if you define some variables, so say you define a variable x, you set it to 42, you define a variable called Alice, you set it to say 22, maybe Alice is age, and you create a list, say a list of customers and, and you have Alice and Bob as customers. Now you ha we have defined three more variables. So let's have a look at the dir function. Now the dir function contains those uh, new elements, these new names uh, um, in the output. Okay, so if you call dir on uh, on an empty argument, so empty argument list, so you don't add, you don't pass any argument into the dir function, then it returns a list of names. And the list of names now have three more names, Alice, customers, and X, the names you just defined. Um, uh, uh, you also have them. So the div function gives you information about the environment. It's called the namespace that is defined in your local environment. So if you, for example, run this in a module, so say we have this module, module code.py. So it's module is nothing but a code file. So now you can, we can again set, uh, define a, a variable. Let's call it variable X and we set it to 42 and then we print the dir. So we print the namespace in this module. Then it gives us some uh, different information because it's a different namespace, it's a different environment. So now we have uh, also defined a variable X in our environment. And this is like the most basic use of the dir function. But then you can also use some things that many people don't know. And this is to pass objects into the dir function. So say we create a um, list of some values, one, two, three. And now we can pass, let's call it list. And now we can pass the list object. So I have to hurry up. <laughs> My battery is almost uh, um, drained. So now we can pass an object into the dir function. And if you run this, we get all the names defined in this object. And now you see we have passed a list object. So a list object, of course, defines functions such as, such as insert, pop, remove, reverse, and so on. So now we can see for any object in Python, you can see which which uh, which methods, method names, and which variables are defined for this object. So if you create your own object, so say a class car, and the, and the car of course has, uh, not def class, so simply class car, and now the car has an attribute speed, like 100, and maybe a color, like black. Now you can print dir of a new car instance. So we create a new car instance and pass it into the directory. Maybe let's let's make it a Porsche. Porsche, now we have to define the Porsche. Porsche car. Okay, and if you, if you run this, we see the output uh, list of names, including color and speed that we just defined for our specific class, okay? And um, so this is how you can use it. You can also override the um, default um, dir function by using this standard um, definition. So this is a method definition. And now we can return any custom um, list of names. So for example, xxx, yyy. For, for, and now each time we call the dir function on a car object, it will just return this list. So you can uh, override the names defined by this uh, dir function. You see now it's much less complicated without the built-in names. So this way you can filter out some relevant names and so on. Okay, so that's it for today for the dir function. If you want to uh, boost your Python skills in 2021 and beyond, then check out our email academy. I give link in the description below. Check out the Finkster program. Much uh, like 99% is free. It will improve and boost your Python skills and uh, lift your skills to a new level. 
Uh, thanks for watching this video and see you in the next video. Bye.